Public health is not just medicine. There's much more to health than just the individual doctor-patient relationship. So I think anyone from any background can do a, a master's in epidemiology because health has a legal aspect, health has a social aspect, health has a behavioral aspect, there's anthropology, there's clinical. So health is uh, all encompassing. And if you see the WHO definition of health, it's not just physical, but physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being of a person. So anyone with any background can do a master's in epidemiology as long as he knows that he can contribute to that aspect of health. So lo a lawyer, a sociologist, an anthropologist, or a person with a biology background, they're all well suited to do epidemiology. Aside from the skills that you need to be a good scientist, um, somebody once told me that one of the primary skills of an epidemiologist is being a cheerleader, being a very good cheerleader. Because not only do you have to work together with people from lots of other disciplines, whether it's engineering or the infectious disease clinicians or um, public health representatives. I mean, you're always working with a lot of different people who come from very different backgrounds. You have to manage to get them all to work together and to keep them motivated and enthusiastic about doing a great project, making sure that the studies are done well and that everybody's involved and people contribute all their skills. Uh, and it's also with the populations that you study, whether you work with community groups or um, with participants in your research directly, is, is really um, conveying the, the idea of how important the research is and making sure that that's clear to everybody. And so that aspect of being a cheerleader, which may not be the best analogy, is, is you know, is what I've been told is one other feature and sometimes I find myself in that role. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that's another good skill.